how many multiples of 18 are there ha huh? which is uh, that are less than 3500 and also two more than the square of a natural number okay so look at this question here guys how to approach it okay so multiples of 18 that are less than 3500 and two more than square of a natural number right let me write like 18k is a multiple of 18 is equal to some any square plus 2 right now what i can observe here is that 18k is some even number actually so if 18k is same even number 2 is also a even number right that means any square should also be an even number okay so it is already even it is already even right so this have to be even fine that means 18k is equal to any square plus 2 and n should be even number so once n should be an even number so i can write n i can replace n by 2x right so i can replace n by 2x okay 2x means any even number right so 18k is equal to 2x whole square plus 2 i can write okay now 18k is equal to what 4x square plus 2 i can write okay 4x square plus 2 yeah now if you see here guys so what i'm actually getting here now uh, 4x square plus 2 is 18k that means 9k is equal to 2x square plus 1 okay now once you observe this data actually right so you want that you want certain values of x here for which this the, this number this whole number should be a multiple of 9 right so at certain at certain values of x this whole uh, this 2x square plus 1 should be a multiple of 9 right so how actually you tell uh, take this point actually so if this is a multiple of 9 here so just try it this one way this met this method one to look at this actually the one way to look at this like you can just put the value of x as because you want this to be a multiple of 9 and it's already plus 1 here so you can just put the value of x as something like 9p so obviously 9p won't satisfy right if you put 9p here it won't be multiple of 1 because we have plus 1 also so basically 9p or x equal to 9p plus 1 okay or maybe minus 1 also or x equal to 9p plus minus 2 also right so this is the one way to look at this you put the values of x here and check which will for uh, for which numbers will have this values as multiples of 9 right but this is not required actually right so it's an aptitude thing do it in a faster way right just try to put some one or two values here and just kindly check okay so if you check here so what what i'm actually getting is let's say for example i am putting x is equal to 1 So at x equal to one, it is not a multiple of three. At x equal to two, if I put x equal to two, it becomes no sorry, not a multiple of three. I told not a multiple of nine. Okay. Once I put x equal to two, this is this is nine, right? That means two satisfies. So from here, I'll get an idea that if x equal to two satisfies and it is a square, so x equal to minus two also should, also should, should satisfy. Correct. So now so. Looking at these numbers here, right? So if x equal to two minus two, and if you if you check further on, right? So three minus three and all will not satisfy. Or, or, or putting some common sense, actually, I'll say I'll tell that okay. That if two and minus two satisfied, that means this number x has to be of the form what? Okay, this x uh, has to be of the form something like yeah, nine p plus minus two. Okay. So basically, x has to be the form what 9p plus minus 2, right? So what do you mean by 9p plus minus 2 here? That basically means that because I got I got a value 2 here, I got a value by minus 2 here, right? So I want to check at x equal to 9p plus minus 2. That means at p equal to 0, x equal to 2 and minus 2 both will satisfy, right? If I put p equal to 1, guys, that means x will be equal to 11 and X will be equal to minus uh, sorry seven. Okay, so if I put eleven here, so if p is equal to one and if I put eleven here, right? So two into eleven is square is one twenty one into two one forty two forty two plus one two forty three. So nine k is equal to two forty three two forty three multiple of nine perfectly fine. If I put x seven here, seven is square is forty nine into two is ninety eight plus ninety nine. Right, that means What I thought was absolutely correct. Once I checked it, at the value of two and minus two, that means some pattern has to run. So I can check, and this has to be multiple of nine. So I, uh, it this has to be a multiple of nine, and the pattern has to go for uh, if it is satisfying for two and minus two, right? 
सो आई कैन जस्ट चेक फॉर नाइन पी प्लस माइनस टू ईयर राइट दैट मीन्स एक्स इक्वल टू नाइन पी प्लस माइनस टू ऑल वैल्यूज विल सेटिस्फाई दिस ओके सो वंस वी हैव एक्स इज इक्वल टू नाइन पी प्लस माइनस टू ऑल वैल्यू सेटिस्फाई दिस एक्चुअली सो वॉट आई कैन थिंक हियर इज नॉट एल मी गाइज सपोज नाउ वॉट वी हैव हियर सो टिस I wanted what? I wanted four x square plus two. Ah, this eighteen k should be less than thirty five hundred, right? So can I write now? Can I write now that eighteen k? That means, uh, let's say four in that is what is eighteen k here? Four x square plus two. So four x square plus two should be less than thirty five hundred. Now four x square should be less than three four nine eight. But for approximation, I can take it as thirty five hundred only. It's not very far from the divide, right? Okay, that means x square is less than something like eight seventy five. Ah, that is near about nine hundred. That means what I can say is x is something less than thirty or twenty nine, right? Twenty roughly twenty nine point five. Twenty nine square is uh, this eight forty one, and this is eight seventy five here, right? So somewhere around thirty. So if x is less than thirty, then how many numbers of what is what is form of x here? So x is of the form, x is of the form nine p plus minus two. Okay, so what is the form, guys? So form is basically x is of the form nine p plus two. So how many numbers? So numbers will be less than thirty, right? That means at p zero two, at p one eleven, at p two twenty, at p three twenty nine. Okay, and then x is of the form what? Nine p minus two. What is nine p minus two here? At p is equal to one seven. At P two sixteen, at P three twenty three, that's it, right? So I think uh, for less than thirty, so I think four values will satisfy here, and three values will satisfy here. So what is my answer? My answer should be chef seven. Seven should be the answer, right? So it's absolutely fantastic question. It's a very nice question, guys. Okay, uh, you got to put your thinking cap on for this kind of question. Okay, and this is the fun part. Okay.